Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Monster Super League Spotlight. So today we're going to be taking a look at um, Clueless Q, who is spotlighting his Wood Arthur. Um, so right now he basically has him with defense, attack, and attack um, on, on a defense set. So this is like a hybrid build. Basically, he has a, you know, like basic, with him being a 5 star, he has a decent HP pool. Um, he also has some HP substats, meaning that he will be able to survive quite well. This attack rune also has an 18% defense substat, meaning that you know he just has a shit ton of defense. Um, he has 3,500 defense with a with a Wood Arthur who is basically an attacker, so that's that's actually getting his defense quite high. Um, I guess he built him like this to to do maybe to do PvP, also to survive in the dungeon a little bit better. Um, you know, this way he definitely does does live really really easily. Um, with two attack runes and one defense rune. He also has very, very high attack as well, uh, with 6,200. And yeah, let's let's test him out. So I decided to tr try him out in Golem's B7 because, um, you know, he is wood. And usually I do it in Star Stone, but Star Stone is fire. So I guess it might be a little bit more appropriate to try him out in B7. And I happen to use, use these two as armor breakers for most of my spotlight videos. And I put in one more healer, so... I guess this full team, wood team, would work for a B7. So we're just gonna go in, we're gonna test out his damage and see how well he does, alright? Alright, alright, I gotta turn off that auto, alright? Let's, let's do some armor breaks. Let's do some armor breaks and then we can test out how hard he hits. Probably gonna be a lot of one-shotting. Alright, here we go guys. Moment of truth. Alright, first hit, first hit. Armor break unit. 8k, 8k. 3 hits. 8k, 8k, 9k. I think the, the Wood Arthur um, has a self-sustain on his first skill. And he has the um, 2 turn stun, which just recently got buffed. Which is really, really strong. If you can actually get it off. Um, yeah, he's definitely a really, really good monster in PvP now. Because he can just basically stay alive. And also, um, you know, also do a lot of damage once, once, and provide CC once his uh, SP bar is full. All right, let's let's test out his damage without armor break and see how much it does. All right, that wasn't a crit. That was that was a no crit. All right, that was a no crit with uh, 2,500 each. You know, if I've been spotlighting a lot of like really really crazy shit for the past two videos or past few videos like basically all the monsters had had the crit damage skill but he doesn't he's a utility monster so you just keep that in mind all right it's like it's not it's not that he doesn't do like really good damage he already does really good damage with um with him being a utility monster all right let's i want to actually see how much he can hit um on, on this unit if he does crit on a non-armor broken unit if he does crit all right, so that actually didn't didn't go according to plan, but it's fine. I still have one more one more chance. All right, I still have one more chance. Okay, let's uh, all right, he taunted us. Well, I guess we won't be able to see it, but I'm just gonna hit him. That's six six k six k six k. Um, so he does six k per per crit, and then nine without crit. Um, he, so he does like 18k um, without crit, and with crit he does about uh, 27k or so. It's like extra 50%. You can kind of do the math, you know, if you don't have a lot of like crit damage stacked onto your unit, you can kind of, uh, can kind of calculate how much damage he would do. Alright, so right now I'm going to try to build up his SP bar. And we can see how how hard his uh, second skill hits. I guess the damage is the only thing we can see, but you know you really got to keep in mind he's not a damage monster. He's a utility monster. Uh, he's got really nice self sustain, meaning that he's going to be able to heal back when whenever he takes damage. And also um, he has a he has that really really sick two turn stun. All right, I'm going to buff up first. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hit him again. Yeah, 9k. Like, that was 9,800. So that's almost close to 30k. That's actually really good for a, for a monster that doesn't have any sort of, like, you know, attack passive or, like, crit passive or, like, crit damage passive. 
Alright, in one more turn, I think in this turn I will be able to get enough blue souls. If one of them goes does actually go to him. Alright, so I'm going to leave one of them non-armor broken. And I'm going to armor break the other two. Um, this way you can kind of see how much damage he does with his AoE. And this is also two turns done. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's hope I catch everything. So that was like 4,900. That was like four hits of it. So it was like about 20k or so AoE. Um, I think it's okay. It's not... Like, I wouldn't say it's like crazy, crazy high damage, because we've seen some really, really crazy shit already. But it, it, is, a, it is a really nice two turn stun if you can pull it off. Um, I think the Wood Arthur might be, like, after the buff is definitely really strong in PvP, because he can just basically stay alive until his SP bar is full and with his um, self sustain. And then, you know, when his SP bar is full, he uses that two turn stun and. Whoever isn't dead is stunned for two turns, which is pretty much like the, the equivalent of dead. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see his damage a few more times. I'm gonna actually stop the one time speed, and I'm gonna go with uh go with the three times. Alright, go with the three times. 5k. So I think I can kinda estimate um, how much how much damage it would do. Like if it if it did crit on on a non armor on a non armor broken target um, with his first first skill, yeah, it would be doing like 4k or so, which is about 12k altogether. You also got to keep in mind like the Arthur is a monster that gets like um, a lot stronger if you can get him to like Evo three and stuff. Because I've heard he actually gets an extra hit, like he gets an just a another hit, you know, basically in his auto attack, if you can get him to evil 3. Which is actually really, really sick. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Um, yeah, let's, let's armor break this guy on the side. And also try to armor break the boss, let's see if we can. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn this to one time speed, um, and this one isn't armor broken. This one's armor broken, and the boss is armor broken. So we're gonna go with a a full damage nuke, and um, well, it's not it's not really a damage nuke, but it's also a stun as well. So we're gonna see um, see how much damage it can do to the boss. Uh, he wasn't built with crit, but th this thing almost got one shot though. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, see, he, he lands a two turns done, which is actually really, really insane. I know I've been really biased in the past about, like, you know, spotlighting those uh, really, really high damage monsters. Like, really, really high damage water monsters. But it's always nice to uh, showcase some utility monsters, like, from time to time. Oh, that was, like, that was a thousand... That was like 30, 33k on, on his first skill with crit. With crit and armor break. Alright, we're gonna armor break the boss a few more times. Let's go in. 4k non crit on armor break. 4k a hit. So that's 12k altogether. That math is so easy. Math is so easy. I, I've been doing this so much that I can do math now. You guys believe it? I used to not be able to do math. Alright, let's armor break again. Let's keep them armor broken. Alright, let's let's hope he doesn't get stunned so I can finish off the boss with, with his uh with his third skill. Just in one flashy combo. Oh shit, he still has another turn of petrify. It's alright, it's alright. We landed the armor break, alright? We're gonna use him to finish the boss off. As long as he doesn't get stunned. Come on. I need my perfect ending. Alright, alright. Are you ready, guys? Let's do this! GG, baby! Alright, so that's the end guys, um, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this monster spotlight and if you guys want to be featured in one of these videos definitely um, send me send me your in-game name with uh, into to my email or you can also leave a comment below and add me um, yeah if I see like that you have an interesting monster I, I'd probably just spotlight it anyways um, but if you if you really want to submit a monster for spotlight definitely email me because I'll I'll just know that it's you like it's your in-game name and then I can add you and then um, basically immediately do the monster spotlight because I don't I don't have a lot to do I basically just whatever whatever you guys request I will do like basically immediately like it, it doesn't take a lot of um, time for me to make a video so I'll definitely just um, as soon as I can all right so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video um, definitely leave, leave me a like it does really help me a lot and if you guys didn't like it for some reason I will have to find you and cut I mean um, if you guys didn't like it then you will uh, you can you can dislike it you know then that, that that's fair right and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out